John Ramirez is a retired CIA officer who has made headlines in recent years due to his claims of advanced aircrafts. The Central Intelligence Agency is the primary intelligence gathering agency for the United States government. It was established in 1947, and since its inception, the CIA has been involved in a variety of intelligence gathering activities, including the investigation of mysterious aircraft sightings. John Ramirez has said that the CIA's interest in these aircrafts can be traced back to the late 1940s and early 1950s, a time when there was a significant increase in the number of sightings around the world. John Ramirez revealed that during this time, the CIA was actively involved in investigating sightings, particularly those that occurred in the United States, and were very much aware of their capabilities, with insiders describing them as advanced machines that were able to outmaneuver modern-day planes and could enter restricted airspace without being detected on radar. In the early years, the CIA's investigation into these objects was limited to gathering information from various sources, including eyewitness accounts, military reports, and newspaper articles. They were particularly interested in reports of sightings near sensitive military installations, such as missile bases and airfields. John Ramirez recently came forward and said that the government is aware of these crafts, and said that right now they are trying to introduce the general public to the idea of advanced aircrafts. He said the following. We are preparing the US population, and by extension the world population for this reality, that there is a presence here, and that we need to explain this, because if they show up, there will be mass panic. But if we understand that these are real, we have five years from 2022 to prepare people for what is up there. I think the word got out within the government that they are showing up, and we better be prepared, otherwise there's going to be a lot of explaining to do. There's been a lot of talk within the government about them, and in 2017 a clock was set up for 10 years. I've heard 2017 in an official capacity that I can't reveal, but I would say that people within the government are aware that something is going to happen, and that there's limited time, which is why officials are now acknowledging it at a much faster pace. End quote. Interestingly, those interested in the unknown have noted that in recent years, there has been a significant increase in the number of government officials and military personnel coming forward to discuss their experiences with unidentified objects. This has led to speculation as to why the government is suddenly talking about them and what may be driving this new openness. One possible explanation ties into what John Ramirez said, saying that government officials may have been briefed on this topic and that they know things that the general public doesn't. At the same time, there is also a growing sense of concern about the potential threat that these objects may pose to national security. Many of the reported sightings involve objects that display advanced technology and capabilities that are far beyond anything that humans currently possess. This has led to concerns that these objects may be part of a foreign military or intelligence operation, or even an advanced invasion. The government's increased interest in these objects may also be driven by advancements in technology and the growing availability of data. With the proliferation of smartphones, drones and other advanced technologies, there is more data available than ever before about the world around us. This has led to an increased ability to track and record these sightings and to analyse the data to try to understand what these objects may be. As of right now, there has been a growing recognition among government officials and military personnel that the issue of mysterious aircrafts is a serious one that deserves closer attention. For many years, sightings were dismissed as hoaxes or misidentifications, and those who reported them were often ridiculed or ignored. However, with the growing number of credible reports and the increasing awareness of the potential national security implications, there has been a shift in attitudes towards this phenomenon. So, what do you make of these comments by John Ramirez? And do you think that government officials know more than what they are letting on? This has led some to say that we should be looking to the stars and should approach these topics with an open mind. The Exoplanet TOI-1231b Out of all the space mysteries that haunt our minds, perhaps one of the biggest revolves around a single question. Are we truly alone in this seemingly endless black void? That thought alone might evoke scary images of aliens and potential space warfare. 
However, scientists have yet to discover those classic big-headed and big-eyed aliens. What they have found instead is their everlasting search for life beyond Earth are several planets that could fundamentally change how we view atmospheric composition and planetary formation. One of those planets, or should we say exoplanets, is called Planet TOI-1231b, existing at just 90 light-years away. It orbits around a red dwarf star and is about three and a half times the size of Earth. In comparison to what we know in our solar system, it has a similar gaseous climate to that of Neptune. As noted by scientists, it is one of the coolest and comparatively small planets known to date. Exoplanets are large bodies extending beyond our solar system that orbit other stars. In general, they mostly exist in a small region of our Milky Way galaxy in the thousands and rising. As the technologies of space exploration only get more advanced and ambitious, we could see the number of exoplanets increase to the tens of thousands within a decade. Although we cannot exactly go jump ship and live on planet TOI-1231b due to its small size, its Neptune-sized existence offers a fantastic opportunity for scientists to capture one of the first barcode-type readings of its atmosphere. Perhaps those readings will help us to locate similar worlds. Something mysterious near the galactic center is flashing radio signals. Developing our understanding of space and the universe beyond our own little world is not a new concept or mission. However, we have certainly come a long way since mapping out our directions with the constellations above us. Within the last few decades, our research into space has taken incredible leaps and bounds, with greater, high-tech, state-of-the-art equipment being produced and a whole team of highly educated researchers on hand, it is not surprising to see that we can now spot tiny things in images and observations that we would never have even known were there just a few years ago. One recent case is a possible source of radio signals being discovered. A radio signal named ASCAP J1736082321635 has been discovered close to the center of our galaxy, according to the paper accepted for publication in the Astrophysical Journal. So far, reports have identified some peculiar aspects to the radio signals, though a particular cosmic object is yet to be tied to the signals. Ziteng Wang, the lead researcher of the team of astronomers based at the University of Sydney, Australia, laid out some of the strange, unexpected characteristics. We have presented the discovery and characterization of ASCAP J1736082321635, a highly polarized variable radio source located near the galactic center and with no clear multi-wavelength counterpart. Further on in the statement, the team explained that this radio signal may be an indicator of a new class of object that we can now discover through radio imaging surveys. This means, in short, that we are not entirely sure what this is yet. It may be a cosmic object that we are already familiar with, or it may be something new entirely. It is understood that if these radio signals are indeed tied to an object we already know exists, then we are prepared to reshape the definition of said object, as this particular one is demonstrating a few unfamiliar traits. Some of the more unusual parts of this said object that we are yet to observe elsewhere include odd radio circles, though we are awaiting an explanation as to what these are. Other aspects include its variability. At some points, radio waves will be emitted for weeks on end before disappearing entirely on an unpredictable timescale. Another odd part is the highly polarized nature. The object in question's electromagnetic wave is twisted both linearly and circularly, producing some rather odd oscillations. ASCAP J1736082321635 was revealed by the Australian Square Kilometre Array Pathfinder, or ASCAP. ASCAP is one of the world's most sensitive radio telescopes. It is designed for us to delve deeper and further into space, finding some answers and often some more questions about the radio signals out there. Not only is the data we do have confusing, but it is impressive that we have gained any at all. The said object is seemingly very difficult to find, as it went unnoticed in all prior ASCAP research, with surveys just gliding over it. Between April of 2019 and August of 2020, its radio signal appeared in the data set just 
13 times, making it notoriously tricky to catch. Following the sighting of the radio signal, studies were conducted using different radio telescopes. The Murray Yang, located in Parks, Australia, the Meerkat, found in South Africa, and the Australia Telescope Compact Array, or ATCA. Murray Yang did not turn over any successful results, though in February 2021, the Meerkat picked up traces of it, as did ATCA in the April of this same year. While this is evidence to support the idea that this is where the radio signals are indeed coming from, the fluctuations of this and the lack of data on Meerkat and ATCA about it before the 2021 discoveries means the evidence is not overwhelming. Furthermore, X-rays and near-infrared observations did not show the source of the radio waves, never mind confirming that it was in fact ASCAP J173608-2321635. Overall, this is a brain teaser to say the least. Tracking down exactly what would be polarized and scattered in activity, but is also highly magnetized, seems to be proving an impossible task. Some stars do fluctuate in their radio wavelengths, though the source did not show up on X-rays nor near-infrared, whilst the star would. A pulsar has also been deemed unlikely, as these have highly regular timelines that they follow. The object so far does not align with many existing cosmic objects, though it does check a few boxes with the Galactic Center Radio Transients, or GCRT. Three of these were discovered in the 2000s. Numerous other signals are awaiting confirmation. So far, all we know is that these sources have some things in common with ASCAP J173608-232135 and could be a possible answer. Nothing is definitive yet, and even when it is confirmed, scientific opinions have to alter all the time in light of new research or better equipment. It is possible we won't ever be sure what the source truly is. Mars's surface was carved by fast floods from overflowing craters 3.5 billion years ago. Mars is always topical and convenient, being our next-door neighbor in the solar system, and yet we are so far from understanding the red planet's history. A new study has suggested that Mars's surface was in fact shaped by catastrophically furious floods from overflowing craters a jaw-dropping 3.5 billion years ago. These floods were so powerful that they carved out deep chasms and led to significant movements of sediment across the planet's surface, making such lake breach floods a more important process than we may have originally imagined. It is thought that floods of this kind would have lasted weeks and could have eroded and deposited so much sediment that the largest lakes on Earth, such as Lake Ontario and Lake Superior, would have been completely filled had we experienced such fast and vigorous flooding here. The result, as seen today, was a buildup of high, jagged walls of rock, very similar to Earth's own canyons. The discovery is surprising to many experts, because up until now, it has been widely thought that these events were anomalous in nature, occurring as one-off events. We knew that crater lakes were common on Mars billions of years ago when the planet had liquid water on its surface, but the rapidity and impact of these floods caused by overflowing craters were not fully understood until now. As we now begin to seriously study these past phenomena through the use of satellite imaging, scientists are studying the surface of Mars to understand the extent to which these floods managed to carve river alleys. So far, the crater lakes have been examined only on an individual basis, comparing depth, length and volume of the river alleys their breaches created. With a staggering 262 breached lakes across the whole of Mars, there is so much to investigate and learn from. Hopefully, these endeavors will lead to explanations of how these floods fundamentally shaped the planet's surface as we know it today. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.